Hi, in this video, we'll be learning how to do SEO on Shopify. So if that's something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first we can just look over some of the SEO features that Shopify has without installing any apps. So first go to online store and go to preferences and go to preferences. And so you want to make sure this is accurate, the title and meta description. Uh, just make sure that your home page title is correct and you have a meta description. So for the home page title, you want to include like a brand, specific keywords like the brand name and then like what you do. So best luxury watches. So these are specific keywords. that you want to rank for on Google. So we want to target luxury and affordable watches. And this as well, we can add some more detail here. See, it gives you up to 300 characters. So you want to maximize the amount of content you can add. So let's just add a little bit more. Okay, that should be fine for now. And these as well, just to make sure you fill these out as well. So just so you're able to have images when you share your, your website link. And these as well, if you have them, Google and Facebook. Okay, click save. Okay, next we want to look at just the individual pages. So if you have pages here, you can go in the page and then see here, edit website SEO. So Shopify out the box offers um, access to editing the page title and the description. See, we just want to make sure these are all filled out. So just uh, okay, so that's just a, a rough meta description and then this is just how it will look like on um, search engines okay click save okay next you want to look at the products so these also you're able to edit the SEO so this is how it look like in the listing so again you want to make sure the page title includes the product name and also your brand so let's just add the brand name And then so it, it takes the meta description directly from a description. So you can uh, edit this so that it's easier to read for the um, user. So it's just look, it just, so it just makes it more likely that they'll click on your, your listing on Google. So let's say so just something like that and then um, if they want to view more details on this exact specifications then they will click the link okay click save okay and then collections as well you're able to edit the collections SEO so again here under listings you want to just add a description so title and description. So again, add the brand name. Okay, click save. 
And then another way to improve your SEO is ongoing uh, content marketing. So you want to go. So you want to go to online store and then blog posts. So again, here's a, a blog post that we made earlier. So click view blog posts. And again, you can edit the website SEO here. So that's just the the basics, um, the minimum you should be doing for uh, SEO on your Shopify website. It's just using what Shopify already provides and just mac um, making the most use out of these features. Okay, so next we're going to install this app here, Smart SEO. So click Add App. Okay, and then click Install App. So this is a free app. So there's a free plan that allows image optimization. So that's what we're looking for. So we can just pin this app just so it's easier to navigate to. Okay, so we're just going to use the free plan first. Click subscribe. Okay, so now we can configure these options here. So the meta tags. So this is just like the standard Shopify SEO editor that they give you, but it just gives you a score here. Okay, so this one is already 100%. And you can check out the other ones as well. So your collections, your blogs, standard articles, and the pages. So there's a lot of options here. And then the alt tags. So these are for your product images. So just make sure you have alt tags for all your images. And then image optimization. Okay, so let's optimize the images so that they load faster because speed is another ranking factor for Google. Okay, so it's a 76% of size. Okay, so do these just for the other ones as well. Okay, so the local files and some, the other content on the website. So in the free plan, you only have 50 images available. But if you're just starting out, that should be enough for all your homepage content and a few products. Okay, so next we want to check out the page speed. Okay, so this will enable instant pages. So let's just enable that just to speed up the website. Okay, so this is the pro versions required. Okay, so this app also monitors broken links. So if there's any broken links that can negatively affect your SEO because these links are still ranking in search engines, so you want to maintain any broken links by either fixing those pages or redirecting those links to working pages. Okay, so there's no broken links for now. And then sitemap. So again, for sitemap, this allows Google to know all the links on your website. So we already have a sitemap, sitemap here generated. So these are all our links. So the last step is just connecting the sitemap. So all Shopify stores have a sitemap automatically generated. So just to make things easier with uh, communicating with Google, you can just connect your Google Search Console through this link here so that Google will be updated if there's any changes for any of these uh, pages or links. So these are all the pages we have currently. Okay, so that's all that's available in the free version, which I think it's enough for just getting started and offers more than what Shopify comes out the box. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you're able to optimize the SEO of your website on Shopify. If you have any questions, you can 
uh, comment down below. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.